welcome to the series of lectures on capacitors specifically electrochemical double layer capacitors so in this very brief lecture we will provide a motivation for why we are dealing with capacitors when we are discussing electrochemical energy storage and conversion devices this topic of ragone plot has been covered in an earlier lecture so please take a look at that um, it has uh, more details compared to this very brief lecture so in a ragone plot we are classifying electrochemical energy conversion devices based on their specific energy and specific power power is defined via this formula and what we see is that electrochemical double layer capacitors are devices which have rather high specific power in relative terms compared to other electrochemical energy conversion and storage devices batteries and fuel cells are the other electrochemical devices we are comparing this is internal combustion engine as opposed to batteries and fuel cells electrochemical double layer capacitors have less specific energy so what are other advantages uh, besides having high specific power capacitors have a long cycle life that is it can be charged and discharged many thousand times um so that is a big advantage as opposed to capacitors on the other asymptote is a primary battery so it can be just discharged once right so whereas when you have a secondary battery it can be discharged many more times but even compared to a good secondary battery capacitors can be um, discharged, may, discharged many more times so there is a reason why this is so the structural changes that occur in the material device that is the electrode um, of a capacitor undergoes very less structural changes uh, which is the reason why the number of cycles uh, that can be with, withstood by a capacitor is large so if the structural change it not only it should be less it should be reversible for example in a primary battery the reason why it cannot be uh, recharged is because the structural change in a primary battery is irreversible so typically uh, if a material device that is in this case let's say a supercapacitor has very less uh, structural change and the structural change can be reversed during the charging and discharging cycle then the cycle life is going to be uh, large you will often see that capacitors also show battery like behavior this has to be understood uh, many a times in especially in current research of the let's say the last decade many capacitors um have many many work claim that the capacitors um show very high capacity but part of the capacity is because of a battery like behavior so in some ways uh, the battery and electrochemical double layer capacitors um have some similarities uh, in their mechanism so you have to clearly demarcate uh, which aspect of the material behavior is like battery and which aspect is like a, a capacitor this uh, perhaps will be dealt with in a later lecture in the next lecture we will look at some of the concepts that you might have been exposed in high school 
So this is basically to do with um, conventional el electrostatic capacitor. So this is just to re uh, refresh your memory on some aspects of capacitor, which is going to be useful for analyzing electrochemical double layer capacitors as we progress along these lecture series. Thank you.